Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Larissa, the Channel Mum Women's Health and Fertility Expert. So throughout the Fertility Course and Series, we've been talking a lot about the famous pregnancy and fertility smoothie. It's what you've all been waiting for, so here it finally is. As you can see, we've got a selection of really healthy ingredients, and each one of these pieces of food has been selected specifically because it contains very beneficial minerals or elements that will help you to conceive. One of the questions I sometimes get asked is, what is the best temperature to drink your smoothie at? I normally say to drink the smoothie at room temperature too, so if you're keeping it in the fridge to chill, make sure you leave it out as you're dashing around, getting ready, and then grab your smoothie later. This is just to be in keeping with the normal processes going on within the body, which are also closer to room temperature than they are to frozen. So the first um, foods that we're gonna be using are gonna be bananas, so strawberries and blackberries, blueberries. The reason they're so important is that they're packed with very powerful antioxidants that you want to make sure you're taking whether you're a man or a woman trying to have a baby. The antioxidants will help to protect the eggs within the ovaries and also look after the sperm, reducing the amount of DNA damage that sperm can sometimes sustain. They're also important because they contain a lot of vitamin C and again, vitamin C is a very important antioxidant to look after the reproductive system in the man and woman. The next ingredient we're going to add is the pumpkin seed. So you want a handful of these, they contain zinc. And zinc is crucial in particular when it comes to producing sperm. Zinc is also very important in the woman in helping to regulate the hormones. The next ingredient you're going to use is going to be coconut butter or oil. Then we add the spinach leaves. It contains iron and also folic acid. Iron is really important in regulating estrogen and progesterone in the woman's body. And folic acid is absolutely crucial and vital if you're trying to have a baby in terms of helping protect the baby from neural tube defects and also other congenital defects as well. And then the final thing is the coconut water or filtered water. This will contain some trace elements that are important in regulating reproductive function, again, in both the man and woman. Just a final point to say that this is all important taken as part of a healthy, nutritious, unprocessed diet that everyone should be on in particular if they're trying to get pregnant. After you've got all your ingredients together, then you just give it a quick whiz in the blender. It smells delicious. Gonna taste. Mmm, tastes delicious too. It's completely yummy and scrumptious. So click on the link to follow how to make the recipe, what ingredients you need, where to source them from, and good luck.